Before we get started, don't forget this Thursday, January 25th, we will be live at 8 p.m. Eastern with some fun and a sale. I'm bringing some Valentines. Come join. Hey friends, it's Amy, owner and curator of Yo So Boho. I am here at my local Talmadge Goodwill. This is one of my pop-ins. I got a, about an hour, actually less than an hour now to see what's in here. I have been over here a couple of times without the camera and have found some really nice things. So I thought, you know, I better hedge my bet and uh, film today in case there's anything amazing. So hopefully there's something amazing. Let's go check. They had a cart waiting for me. <laughs> it's pretty cool. What is this? Whoa, that's neat. That's like a dolphin. And it's signed. That's pretty sweet. Um, I picked this up. I have to look it up. I have sold one of these special friends before. Um, so it's worth a look up. It's probably not worth anything. There's a whole big one back here, but it's missing something right there. So we're going to pass on that. There's some precious moments. Usually the Goodwills overpriced the precious moments. Here is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles umbrella. Is it vintage? Maybe we should look it up. I also see another dolphin thing back here. Made in China. It's got its tags on it something. What is this? Phillips. Um, like a travel DVD, headrest DVD. Double your movies on the road. All right, we'll look that up too. I look down here in the bottom. And I think I'm seeing things in here for My Little Pony, like brushes and stuff. I'm wondering if this is the show stable. I've had it before and I've sold it. If so, the roof part is over here. Oh, I see some My Little Ponies in there. There's a lot of stuff in here and it's $8. I have it taped. I think we might have to get in there. There's some more ponies over here. Yeah, that's the show stable. Yeah, we'll check that out. So far, everything else I'm seeing was here two days ago. Not seeing much new. He's cute. A little bank. Hey. How are you supposed to get anything out of there? That doesn't work. It's kind of cool. It's got a mercury glass look to it. Looks like the old anchor hawking pumpkins. Anybody need some nunchucks? back up the other side. I wonder what this is. It's got a fancy design. Alright, what does it hold? Do we know? I'm going to have to do a Google Lens search. Because it's a cool design. To find out. Oh, I also picked up this Holy Bible off the cart, which needs a look up. The other day when I was over here, I got a really nice surprise. It was an animated piece. You all know how I love the animated pieces, right? In the box, an animated sunflower. And I looked it up and I about had a heart attack. It's going to be listed sometime this weekend for 
$225. Last one sold for $235, I think, with free shipping. This look crazy. I picked up one of this guy. This guy has some damage and some weirdness. I want to pause for a moment to share with you this funny little beagle. Now, he had a brother that I purchased two days ago. I left this one here because he was damaged. But these are collectible and some are worth money. They make dogs, cats, even people, horses, all kinds of things. But it's called a breed apart. Keep an eye out for them. Yeah, he has some dings and some damage. I leave him here for somebody else. He's super cute. It's contemporary down there. These look vintage. What is this? Brass, heavy, butterfly. Uh, could hold a book. It's kind of nice though. To put a cookbook on it when you're making a recipe and then flatten it out. Cool. What do they got in it? $3. It's kind of grubby, but we could look it up. Ooh, I see something I want. Right down in that little bag. Two tiny little mid-century brass mice. And make them a buck a piece. Yeah, we're getting those. The other day when I was here, there was a bunch of cardinals on this red end cap. Including this funny little globe. I did pick up a bag that had three cardinals in it, and one of the cardinals was a tiny, the teeny tiny little Leo Ward signed. I was happy about that. I also picked up a bunch of Christmas dishes. They were all like gingerbread pieces made by Heartstone. A bunch of them. Those will be listed this weekend as well. Now when I say this weekend, I mean my time. <laughs> you were seeing this probably a two to three weeks later. Oh, some people like those. Oh my gosh, I just looked through the shelves and I thought somebody was looking at me. Can you see her? I thought it was like a real tall person staring at me from over the... <laughs> well, these look like they could be Longaburger. Yeah, that's Longaburger. $3. $3. We will pass. This is kind of cool. Look at this. Is this a stair? Ooh, that's kind of neat. It's not long a burger. It's probably made in China. I could tell by the quality. But you know what I love about it? Is the drawers in it. See this? Sits on a staircase, right? Like on the bottom of the staircase, you can put stuff in it. But this one, instead of having the hole that goes down there, has a couple of cute drawers that you can pull out. Isn't that neat? They only have $3 on that. That's a great deal. I do not need it. And I don't think it's quality enough for me to list, but somebody will really enjoy that. Finding that here, oh my gosh. Look at that guy. <laughs> $5.25. Okay, it'll go in my cat sale box. What is this down here? Oh gosh, it's a big crock. Medalta Potteries Limited, huh? Alberta. It is cracked in the bottom. That's pretty neat. It's down here in the clear. The other day when I was here, not the day where I found the animated sunflower, but a different day. I found a nice piece here. I think it's a Hallmark candy um, apothecary piece with the Halloween theme. I'll put a picture up of it over here. I was surprised to look it up and see that it goes for money. There's another pumpkin. What do they got on that? $6. Yeah, six dollars. That's an anchor hawking pumpkin. Not much new over in the electronics. Some things that I looked up when I was here last time. I'd never seen one of these. It's a waffle maker, but you pour into the top. 
Isn't that crazy? Yeah, kind of cool. Wasn't worth a pickup. Ooh, that's a good name. I might have to look that up. That wasn't here last time. They got 15 on it, but let me take a look at that. Yeah, I'm going to take a better look at this. It looks like it's almost new. The last pre-owned one sold for $90 with free shipping. So, yeah, I'm interested in looking at this. All right. I think this is a no-brainer because it's in a really nice Sterilite tub that you couldn't even get for eight bucks. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna get it home and discover what's all in here. But it's packed full of ponies, accessories. I don't know how old they are. I don't know much about toys in general. This says made in Hong Kong, so I think that that's uh, a little vintage. This is Hong Kong, 86, whatever that is, 86. Yeah, I think this is just a no-brainer. We'll get it home and discover what's in there. Cool, yeah, and a nice clear tub, which I do love the clear tubs. So worth the stop in for that, I think. I'm going to take a look at the rest of this. I knew this was a cool design. So it holds a couple of controllers, however big you want to make this, like your Xbox controllers. It holds two of them, and then a headphone can go on. You can wind the cable around there. It's a neat design. Um, I think it's made by Quinn Coon, something like that. On Amazon, these retail for $35, $34, $35. This one's three. Um, I have some gamer friends, and my cousin Jenna is a huge gamer. She's setting up a game area, actually, in her room. And she might really like this, so I'm going to snag that. Okay, so the brass book holder, butterfly book holder, looks to sell somewhere between $25 and maybe $40. This one could use some shining up, which is easy to do with some brasso. So for $3, even if I don't list this on eBay, I feel like this is something somebody, all my bookworms out there, <laughs> is going to want. So we're grabbing that too. So far, we've done pretty well. This big Bible that I pulled off the cart looks to sell for between 12 and 18 They have five on it. So we're going to leave that one behind. I just looked up on eBay. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle umbrella and 82 came up and then when I looked up sold zero <laughs> so no matter what if this was in that category um, doesn't look like they have a good sell through so we're gonna leave that one behind this I'm definitely keeping this beautiful piece of pottery and my little mice are in there gosh look at that can we just admire that for a second so beautifully done. I can't wait to learn about that artist. I have some work to do when I get home. And there are 29 of these Bethany girls listed. Um, I didn't check out sold, but some of them start as low as 4 or $5. So she's not something that we're going to take. I also think even though he's totally adorable, this is going to go back. It's got some damage around the corners. Um, I know it's only $1.25, but it also says Mammoth Cave, Kentucky. So I think it's going to stay. Unfortunately, we're going to have to leave these behind. 15 is a good price if I was going to use them. And they look new. I looked in here. Looks like maybe one was used maybe once. Um, but brand new. These sold last for $35. And for 15 that just doesn't make any sense especially since this is an open box and it's been used. And there seem to be a lot of these or similar ones to these listed with not very many uh, sold. So we're gonna leave this behind. We're gonna grab our ponies and these things here. And I think we did pretty good for a quick stop in.
my car is so dark in this parking lot and my lights here are so tiny <laughs> all right y'all i'm glad that i turned the camera on today and that we got to see some of the stuff i've been pulling really good stuff out of this goodwill so i'm glad that you were along for this trip and got to see some of the stuff i found i'm excited about the pony stuff yeah let's go home and check those out yeah nice big sterilite filled with things now i recognize this i've had this and i've sold it it sold for 125 i think with a couple of ponies this i'm not even sure what this is rockers it's got some damage down here i'm not sure where that goes maybe this is a stage totally different thing kind of looks like a stage doesn't it y'all i did not have my little pony growing up i didn't play with my little ponies i think i was more of a matchbox car girl i don't even know what this is maybe they get set up there to do their hair you know like a little salon chair mm -hmm. i feel like i might be right about that this one's wearing a saddle here and she's got an ice cream cone on her butt these were pretty easy to look up because the little symbols on them oh and she's got pretty little shoes on only on her front hooves not on her back hooves and she's a hong kong so i'll uh put information on the screen as we're looking at these whoa now she's fancy i don't think these little crinkle things are part of her get up but I do think the bell is <laughs> tied in her hair. And she's got like an ice cream sundae. So maybe there's a theme here. She's purple. No shoes. This one's like flocked. Oh, <laughs> somebody is forcing this one <laughs> to learn the trombone. <laughs> maybe this was part of a stage production. I'm so sorry about this abuse you were under. It's not good. That was on there for a long time because you can see a little indentation there. You poor thing. A little flocked. Oh, you have wings too. So you're like a pegasus. That kind of looks like you were played with a lot. I don't know who you are. You have stars on your butt and you're flocked. Oh, there's like a band in here. I see a drum. So maybe this was the rock star. Oh yeah, now it's coming together, folks. <laughs> the rockers. <laughs> oh, by the way, I have these sitting here. I posted about these on Instagram, but if you didn't see it, my aunt makes these. I have to have her fix this one because Earth pulled the little fuse out of the top of the bomb, but it's an F-bomb. Isn't that clever? And then she made me this cute little sloth. I have him hanging upside down. He's doing some sort of slothy yoga. Totes adorbs. All right, back to this. Whoa, what is this? This is an on-off switch. I'm sure it doesn't work. I'm sure it needs batteries. Okay, so this looks like maybe it's part of this stage. I'm going to have to look for a picture of this all set up. Does it fit on top of there? Oh, maybe it does. Okay, so that's something. <laughs> I don't know. They're all different pinks. It's like none of them really match. Okay, that looks like it's a bathroom wall that you would hang a towel on. Does it not? I don't think that's part of the rock stage, do you? Okay, we got another bathroom wall. And another bathroom wall. We got like a bathroom in here too, right? Oh gosh. Did the ponies do some uh, surfing? Rockers. Okay. Ooh. That's fancy. That's got to go with this get up, right? Mm, that's a chair. Wait. Ponies don't sit in chairs, do they? No idea. 
I want a jet ski. I feel like this is going to be Barbie or something. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Did ponies jet ski and windsurf? I imagine there's just a bunch of different play sets in here. Here's a couch. Missing an arm. Is this the arm over here? No, maybe? No, doesn't look like that. All right, let's put the armless couch over here. This looks like a bath. Okay, it's like an actual bath. And I bet the bathroom walls go on here. All right, let's set this over here and set this up in a minute. That looks like the wind surfboard. It's kind of cool. Got some beaching. Here's part of the drum. Oh yeah, and here was part of the drum too. This is probably attaches somehow. We got another pony. Oh my gosh. This pony was forced to learn the guitar. Kids, I tell ya. This one has hearts all over its butt. This is the roof that goes on the show stable. No idea if this is broken or if this can be reattached. Is that gonna go in there and work or is it broken? Hmm, it looks like it works. This is the handle. Oh, it's pulling right up. So I'm not sure if it can be carried because it just pulled it right up. And there's a swinging door here that's missing. Look at how many bows are on the back of this one. Why so many? And we got some shoes, but only on the front hooves. Shoes on the front hooves. She's got something sparkly on her butt. Oh, more shoes on the front hooves. This is definitely Barbie, right? This is Barbie. Look at that long, very long jacket. That's not going to fit a pony. I think that's Barbie. Here's another pony. Ooh, somebody got fancy with some braiding. That was definitely like an older sibling did that. <laughs> Are these all older? No, oh, they all say Hong Kong. I don't know when they started making them in China. Here is a microphone. Is this rocker set Barbie? Is that a Barbie set? Have y'all been yelling at me this whole time? That's not ponies, that's Barbie. I listed all of the Barbie stuff in one lot on eBay for $48. Please say that the pieces for the roof are in there. Like all of these go at the stable. They're little fences and stuff. There's some rock. It's got like a little MC, little DJ action going on there. This is for the rockers. I wonder if that's actual My Little Ponies, like, licensed. Printed in Thailand. It's older. I wonder if that's, you know, what you put down underneath the show stable. It's kind of cool. Another pony in here, another flocked one. This one, I can't even see what's on here. Pretty faded butt you got there, mess thing. Okay, so is that all the ponies? So it looks like we have two, four, six, eight ponies. Come on, where's the roof? Here's the roof, here's the roof. And it's got the adornment uh, on it. So that goes in here and then there should be three flags. We see the flags. Ooh, they all look to be in here. One, two, three. They're all in there. Yay. So this looks to be pretty complete. Oh, there's the other door. Cool. That is the 
other front door that swings open on here. And there should be a back door. Did I see if there was a working? Yeah, there's one back here. Okay, sweet. So we have a intact show stables with all the pieces that go on the roof. That is a good deal because I'll put everything that I know goes with it and get that listed on its own. The last one I had did have a box. So this one will probably list for less, but you know, even $50 for just that piece um, is awesome, right? Because we have all these other things. Not bad for $8 and, <laughs> and I got a nice new Sterilite case. <laughs> Excellent. Now that was fun. I'm glad I turned the camera on and I'm glad that y'all came along with me to find those things. $8 for a whole tote full of vintage toys that I still need to figure out. <laughs> All right, everybody, until next time, please take care. I'll see you then.